ये जय माता दी एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इज टॉपिक इज मेटलैब बेस्ड कॉड ऑफ सर्कुलर कन्वोल्यूशन यूजिंग डी एफ टी एंड आई डी एफ टी मैथड ओके माई डिस्कशन पॉइंट इज बेसिकली इन द केस ऑफ सर्कुलर कन्वोल्यूशन द मैक्सिमम लेंथ इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ एन वन एंड एन टू ओके so circular convolution by the help of dft and idft method and this i dft and idft video is in my playlist i will show the link in the description box and one more thing i will show you the numerical of this matter code at the end of this video okay and i am using the version matlab r 2020a my channel name is r4 rohit aroda sir classes if you think that my video is very good for you then press on like button and if you want more videos on my channel then subscribe my channel now let's start with the matlab code start with a percentage write the program to implement circular okay circular convolution using dft and idft method okay now start with clc clear all close all take a first sequence x is equal to 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 already i take it in the last videos and uh, take n1 equal to the length of first sequence okay if i want to show this length in a figure then you sub plot i am taking this sub plot on the first position then after that stem use x label n values then after that take a y label that is the amplitude title basically it is a xn okay then after that second sequence h 1 2 3 4 5 and use n2 is equal to the length of second sequence then after that use the subplot command second position use m x label n values y label that is the amplitude title use action okay and uh, this is about the x and h i will show you in the figure okay now after that apply the dft and idft on both the sequence and before this i take it n equal to maximum of n1 and n2 and in this case the length is same for both the sequence okay now after that take a for loop 
Oh, okay. Before this, uh, I will take capital X equal to zeros one comma n one capital H one comma n two. Okay, because in this case the sequence is same, correct? Now, after that, take a for loop k equal to zero to n minus one. Okay, after that again take a for loop for n equal to 0 n minus 1. Okay, then after that capital X equal to xk plus Again, I am using the bracket. Okay. Uh, in this case, it is uh, x k plus 1, k plus 1 because this starts from 0. And this is also n plus 1 into exponential. Okay. Take it exponential. After that, use the brackets minus two. Use base, use it basically the formula. Okay. I can take J or iota. No issue. Use pi into k into n. Divide by capital N. Now first of all check the brackets also. Okay, this one correct. Okay, this one is correct. Now correct values are correct. Okay. And again one more bracket. This is about X. It means DFT of first sequence. Now DFT of second sequence use k plus 1 equal to h into k plus 1 use plus h okay uh, we use a bracket into exponential again use brackets minus 2 multiply by i multiply by this pi okay and after that take the z function for this output or we can say that for convolution of both the sequences. Now, in this case, okay, it is uh, k plus 1, xk, okay, it is also k plus 1, if I multiply with this function, Okay, then after that, and again, and and if you want to show this result, then okay, uh, this is my Z. 
60 minus 4 iota or we can say that minus 4 j okay then after that it's basically a zero okay then after that again it is four four j correct or we can say that four iota it is like that now after that if i want to apply idft of this sequence then first of all i take it to y in the y basically is the output okay one comma n then after that apply a loop for loop again n equal to 0 up to n minus 1 for loop for a k 0 to n minus 1 then after that I want output n plus 1 equal to y again n plus 1 okay use plus then after that z k okay in this case is also plus 1 after that multiply with the exponential in this case j or i can take iota also okay but the matlab code take the iota at the end j multiply by 2 multiply pi multiply by k multiply by n correct now close this bracket and uh, use one more bracket for this part divide by n correct close this bracket and after that again close this bracket use semicolon at the output this is the formula of basically a idft then after that use and now after that use the subplot command subplot command for a output use the stem command for a output also in a discrete formation use x label for a n values y label or the basically amplitude title it's a y okay y and i will take okay basically this is the output and if you want to display in a command window then you can use display command also okay I'm taking like that okay y equal to then again use display y okay note semicolon now let's see the result okay uh, this is my x this is h and uh, this is the output 
and what is the output basically okay now uh, it is uh, 60 there is some mistake that I am checking okay in this case IDFT it is divided by anode okay now let's check it answer or any error let it now the answer is 15 17 okay it is 17 and uh, it is 15 then it is 13 okay this is my output and uh, in the command window it is 15 17 15 and 13 okay this is basically our output and I will show you the numerical of this now now in this case first of all input is x1n I am taking 1122 and by the help of this IDFT formula find the output this is the output of this function okay now after that second function is 1234 total line is 4 and this is the formula of the DFT now what is the uh, result of this function my result of this function is 10 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 J okay this is minus 2 plus 2 J but after applying the convolution x1 into x2 or x into h I take uh, it is 60 minus 4 J 0 4 J okay same result then and uh, at the end the output by the help of IDFT function the formula of this IDFT is this one okay now the output is 15 17 15 and 13 okay and this is all about the circular convolution using the DFT and IDFT method thank you thank you for watching this video and Jai Matadi